Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am back in front of my wardrobe. Just thought I'd switch it up with you guys. I'm excited for today's video because I am showing you guys what I got from Ulta during the Diamond and Platinum member appreciation days. So I'm excited to show you guys what I got. But before we get started, as always, if you're new here, hi, I'm Jamie B. Welcome to my channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave so you don't miss out on any of my future beauty videos. I do new beauty videos every single week and just you want to be able to be notified so subscribe and hit that notification bell and we're gonna get right into this haul basically Ulta has a diamond and platinum membership appreciation days. I believe that it was certain categories were 10 points off and then everything else was like five points I don't know if it's different between diamond and platinum. I'm not really certain. I am diamond. I spend a lot of money at Ulta, obviously, yearly. Mine was 10 points off of everything, or 10 points off, 10 points for everything I bought because I am diamond. And I shopped in only the categories that were 10 points. I winded up spending $342. <laughs> I know, I know. But I winded up getting $268 worth of points because of the multiplier of points. It was only like 90 something, technically, I spent but obviously out of pocket. I did spend quite a bit. However, I will tell you at the end of the year what I'm planning to do this year is I'm saving all my points. I have not spent a single dollar in points and I am going to be spending them all in one haul, maybe two because I know Ulta has restrictions with their points and I'm going to show you guys basically like my 2021 points haul. Haul. There is one more box coming. It was my foundation that they did not ship for whatever reason or they just shipped it But they shipped it separately, which this has only happened to me like once or twice when it comes to Ulta Which is really bizarre to me. So it is the Lancome Ultra 24-hour long wear matte foundation in 420 bisque neutral It is actually one of my favorite foundations and I ran out of it a very long time ago And I just never purchased anymore because I have so many foundations that I need to try But I decided that since it was ten times the points then um I was gonna buy it so what I mean I did get this huge like sample set we can go into when I'm done but the first thing I'm pulling out is the it cosmetics confidence in a cream if you guys are not new to my channel then you know that this is one of my favorite 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 moisturizers and I go through these things like you would not believe so I always get the big one which is $74 so like when you think about like oh my god you spent $342 this was $74 by itself and this I use literally every day every single day it sits on my desk and I apply it to my face throughout the day it's one of my favorite moisturizers and I really really love it they do have a cheaper option which is smaller and I think it's like 40 something but I would go through that so fast then I'd wind up spending just about the same so I got the big one okay and then the next thing is actually a Tula product um I have done a humongous Tula haul and review I tried it for a few weeks and then did another kind of updated review and I wasn't the biggest fan of all of the products actually for a majority of the products but there were some products that I did like and actually some products that I use now because I tried using them more and more and wound up actually liking them. But this one I wanted to try. This is the Tula Skin Care So Poreless Deep Exfoliating Blackhead Scrub. Now I know physical exfoliants are not good for your skin. I also know that with my eczema and irritations with my skin, I probably shouldn't do this. But honestly, anytime I try like a uh, chemical one, it just doesn't feel like it's actually exfoliating my face. So I just go back to the physical exfoliators and I just know to be gentle. So that's what it looks like. If you can see that. So it's got like beads maybe? Like coffee or something. It definitely does have some kind of beads of something. It doesn't really have a very high fragrance or anything. Powered by pink salt, volcanic sand, and witch hazel. Ooh, last time I used witch hazel burnt my face out. Oh. All right, we're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. I bought it. We're gonna try it. But I'm excited to try it just because I do prefer a physical exfoliant because it makes me feel like my face is being scrubbed. You just gotta be gentle. So the next thing is the It Confidence in an Eye Cream. I have actually never used this one before. But I figured, since I love their face cream, I would 
give their eye cream a try. Oh my gosh, this is $39 and look how small this is. I guess cause like you don't need that much for eye cream but I go through creams like nobody's stinking business. So the next thing I have is the Juvia's Place bronzed bronzer. The bronze by Juvia's Place and I got it in the shade tan. And I thought the packaging was to die for. First of all, yes. Second of all, look at this. It's like up and down. Oh, it's two of them. So like my winter color, summer color. Love that for me. I'm so excited for this. And Juvia's Place is like not even super expensive, so. And then I also, since we're doing this one, I got the blush and this is in volume one. So I did get like one of the darkest ones they had just because I really, really, really wanted this orange color. <laughs> And if you guys missed it, I did post a video on Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, I don't remember. I posted it this week, I'll link it here, of my whole blush collection. This berry color is beautiful, but <laughs> this is why I bought it, because it's gorgeous. Oh, I cannot wait to play with those. I have a whole bin here of just things that are new and I have to put them in. So the next thing I got was the First Aid Beauty Anti-Dandruff Scalp Serum with 2% salicylic acid. This is safe for sensitive skin, it's dermatologist tested, and this is supposed to be, I saw one, I saw this on TikTok, but it's supposed to be really, really good for your scalp. This is the serum, and it was really expensive. So you shake well, you part in sections, apply directly to the scalp and massage. After, apply to the affected areas one to four times daily or as directed by a doctor, okay? It can be applied to dry or damp hair. So I have what I'm assuming is eczema on my scalp because for the past year, like my head is just ugh, so itchy no matter what I do. So I really think it is my scalp. So I was like, you know what? Before I go to medicated, let me see about this because I saw this on TikTok recently, actually. I thought I'd try it. And then this is the anti-dandruff shampoo with 1% Perithion zinc. So this is safe for tr color treated hair and it's sulfate free and it goes with that serum. So I don't know if these are new, but they were on TikTok. It was a dermatologist talking about it. So they said, okay, you're a dermatologist, not me. Oh, it doesn't smell bad. I thought it was gonna be like really strong. Yeah, like head and shoulders like really strong. But this actually smells good. I'm excited to try it. If you have like dandruff or issues or dry scalp and all that going on, um, I will update you once I use it for a little bit because I do like to use it for a while, probably finish them and then come back and update you on my reactions and how it went down because I'm excited. This was actually the thing that I was most excited about and that it was 10 points for each thing. And then I got another sample with that. It is the First Aid Beauty um, Cleanser. I got a lot of samples. This um, It Confidence in a Cream came in the eye one. So the next thing I got was the Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime Eye Primer. Their packaging is always stunt. Like, look at that. Just gorgeous. And I got it in the color too. So it reminds me of the P. Louise Primer. So I thought I would give it a try because it's actually, that's my favorite primer. I use it every day. Oh, that was a little, it was a little runnier. Okay, so I will tell you, it's nice. I don't have to actually use it, but it's a little more runny. The reason that I adore P. Louise so much is because the texture is perfect. Like it's not thick, thick, but it's thick. So I'm going to try it and I'll update you guys. So the next thing is actually a Tarte product. I haven't bought anything from Tarte in forever. And this is the Maracuja Miracle Mist Setting Spray. I love setting sprays and I'm always here to like try different ones. So, all right, so I'm going to spray it. Sets your makeup for 16 hours. Jesus. Doesn't really have a smell to it. Oh, that feels amazing, actually. Like, I immediately just get, like, like hydrated. I really like that, actually. There's not really a smell to it. It reminds me of the Morphe one, and I think the Morphe one is actually cheaper. If I'm being honest, yes, the Morphe one is cheaper. This one's 23. I think the Morphe one is, like, 18 or 20 but I like that and I like that it's not fragmented so Morphe's is really nice but the fragrance is very very strong so that's not bad and like it definitely hydrated my skin as soon as it like hit my face so that's exciting we're at the bottom here I got a bag so from it cosmetics hundreds of dollars and they send me a bag so the last thing i have is the juvia's place the festival palette i saw this palette and i 
had to have it. So this is what it looks. First of all, it reminds me of spooky season that is coming up. How, ooh, like it doesn't, like when I open it, I'm just like, oh, I didn't understand, but it's very pretty. It's just not like this. I thought was going to be the theme like orange and black when I first saw this palette. But then when I saw it online, I was like, oh, Oh my god. First of all, the pan sizes. The pan sizes are huge and it's very inexpensive. I think this palette was like 22 bucks. $20, okay? <laughs> and these, uh, they're, st look at the blue, look at the pink, look at the orange. What? Oh my god. What? In the what? Okay. I cannot wait to use this palette. I probably will get a video up with this palette next week. Like that is that's beautiful. I absolutely love that. Let's go through these samples before we go and see what we get. These are huge samples, by the way. They're not like regular ones. So I got Bad Girl, Bad Gal Bang. And this was Benefit Cosmetics. I actually had this one and I, it was okay. I liked it, but just not enough to pay. I think it was like $24. Um, I got a La Roche Posay. I don't even know how to say that brand. Okay. And it's a hyaluronic serum. And then I got, oh, I love these. The Skin Iceland Solutions for Stressed Skin Hydro Cooling Firming Eye Gels. And then I got a Niacinamide Brightening Toner by Good Molecules. And then I got something from Lancome, a Clarifying Double Essence Refining something. I don't know. Never used it before. Then the Micro Delivery Dream Peel by philosophy <gasps> it's by philosophy okay i'm excited to actually try this one like really excited estee lauder advanced night repair listen y'all this stuff is really good but i will only ever get it as samples because this shit is so expensive online i'm just like no no thanks thanks no thanks and then i got it's a 10 miracle leave-in product which i mean this is a pretty decent size I got CeraVe Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser. So I've never tried that before. CEO by Sunday Riley. I've actually used this one. It's really good. Really expensive. Photo Finish by Smashbox. I've used it. Uh, Growth Factor Firming and Lightening Serum by Paracone MD. Never used it. They're expensive. And then a Clinique High Impact Mascara, which I've never used. But that is it for my Diamond and Platinum Membership Appreciation Day haul. That was a mouthful. I get everything with 10 times the points, which is amazing. If ever that happens, I encourage you to, that's when you need to spend. If you could save throughout the year, I know you want all the new, the new news, but those point days, five and 10 times the points are really where it's gonna come into handy because you're getting back more than half of what you're actually spending. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you guys went shopping for the 10 point appreciation day and what did you get or what were you thinking about getting but didn't. I Just leave me some love. Just leave me some love. And as always, I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.